Okay, and today in class we covered 10.1 and part of 10.2. We will finish up 10.2 on Thursday's class, but 10.1 is the introductory introduction into linear systems of DEs. So we have two forms that will see the systems of DEs. The first form is called the normal form. It's where you have your primes of your variables listed on one side, and then you have your um, And then you have your variables without the primes listed on the right hand side and you'll have these coefficients of everything okay and so what you can do is you can write all of the x primes as a column matrix like this and you can denote it just by uh, x prime bold because it's a vector okay or a matrix then you can write all the coefficients as its own matrix called the coefficient matrix and that's used as a capital A for the matrix A. And then you can use all of your vectors without the primes as your um, vector S for your variables. Okay, again this is a matrix. And then you may have some other terms that don't have x1, x2, xn in them um, and those are considered your functions F. Okay. Now if there are no parts here, then that means that they're all zero, which means that the DE is homogeneous, okay? And then in that case, you wouldn't have this part here because they'd all be zero. So your matrix would just look like, or your system would just look like this with all vectors, okay? And so in this class, we're only gonna be doing two by two and three by, t three, by three. So what you can do is if you have a three by three like this, or if you have one, um, a x plus b y plus c z and then a y prime d x plus e y plus f z and then z prime equal g x plus h y plus z or i z okay so you still have whatever your um, variables are here, they should be the same variables here, except on the left hand side it's the primes. So again I have x, y, z, so I should have x's, y's, and z's, but the primes on the left hand side. Both of these can be written into the same matrix, okay? So the variables, the variable labels don't really matter when you're writing it into the matrix form. It's just capital X prime vector and capital X vector and that's it. So for this section, we just want to do two things. One is we need to be able to go from the system format to the matrix format and vice versa. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we also want to use matrices to check answers or to verify solutions. Okay. So for the first example, we say write the linear system in matrix form. There is no other functions over here. It's just coefficients of x, coefficients of y, coefficients of z's. Nothing else extra here, nothing extra here, nothing extra here. So we won't have any other part, um, another, fun another vector or another matrix added to this. So it's just the coefficients of these variables. So negative 3, 4, negative 9, 6, negative 1, and nothing. So 0 for z. 10, 4, and 3. And then since there's no other extra bits, we don't need to add anything else. We just need to multiply by our variable um, vector, which throws the variables in when you multiply. So that's it for that example. For the second example, we want to write this, which is semi in matrix form, but we want to write this semi matrix form into its uh, normal form. So you have the derivative, I'm going to do to row by row. So the derivative of x, dx dt, times 1x, negative 1y, and 2z, plus 1e to the negative t, which is this term here, minus 3t, which is this term here. Then we move on to the second row. We've got dy dt, which is here. We've got 3x minus 4y plus 1z 
and then we have plus 2e to the negative t. And here we have negative negative 1t, which is just plus 1t, or just plus t. Then last row, derivative of z, dz dt, negative 2x, positive 5y, positive 6z, and then plus 2e to the negative t, minus 1t, so just minus t. And that's in normal form. Now, in systems of DEs, you can have initial value problems, which we haven't seen yet. So you'll be given the matrix um, form of the, D of the system, and then it'll tell you that it's subject to the X matrix equal to the X not matrix. What that means is that all your variables will have their initial components, okay? And so you'll use that to figure out the initial value problem. That'll probably be one of the very last things that we do, okay? <coughs> First, we need to figure out how to solve the DEs, which we won't do until the next section. Then we have a theorem here. It says if these are all solutions to your system of DEs, then you need to find the general solution by doing one constant times the first solution plus another constant times the second solution all the way until you get another constant times the last solution. That's the general form of the solutions. Now, this problem just wants us to verify that the x that they gave me is in fact a solution. So this is the x they gave me, and this is the system of DEs they gave me. So what I did was, is I had a, a little thinking step First thing I wanted to do was write this as a matrix, not as a matrix times something. So I went ahead and did 1 e to the negative 5t and 2 e to the negative 5t. That's just another form or way of writing x, which was given to me. Then I used this to find x prime. So what is the derivative of this component? It's negative 5 e to the negative 5t. What's the derivative of this component? It's negative 10 e to the negative 5t. Then I plugged in x prime and x into the original system that they gave me. So x prime became negative 5 e to the negative 5t and negative 10 e to the negative 5t. a stayed the same and x became the x that they gave me but in my form. e to the negative 5t times 2 e to the negative 5t. Then I went ahead and multiplied the right hand side. So 3 times e to the negative 5t, negative 4 times 2 e to the negative 5t, and I got these two terms. When I combine them, I get negative 5 e to the negative 5t. Then I multiplied 4 e to the negative 5t, negative 7 times 2 e to the negative 5t, and we ended up with 4 e to the negative 5t minus 14 e to the negative 5t. Combined the like terms, we got negative 10 e to the 5t. This does match the left-hand side, therefore I have verified that this is in fact a solution. So the homework set for 10.1 is just going to be numbers 1, 5, 7, 10, and 13. And all you're doing is putting it from one form to the other and vice versa, or verifying whether a given solution is in fact a solution.